the operation for pyelodic stenosis is the most satisfactory procedure in the entire field of pediatric surgery. The century-old principle of pyelodic myotomy introduced by Conard Ramstead in 1912 is the gold standard. Ultrasonography is the confirmatory in diagnosis in almost 100% of cases. Before operation, urgent resuscitation is mandatory. Fluid and electrolyte correction is the prime importance. Till now, open pyelodomyotomy is the most commonly performed operation worldwide. Standard incision for open pyelodomyotomy is the right upper quadrant transverse incision. However, it may be done also through the supraumbilical incision. After the tumor is delivered through the incision, the gastrodural junction is identified by the prepyloric vein and a white line. Tumor olive is gasped securely with the left thumb and the index. A superficial incision is made through the relatively less vascular area from duodenum towards the stomach side. Close blades of the instrument is thrust into the tumor against the counter pressure made by the left hand. The blades are open now to complete the separation of the muscles. This is the white line. White line, preparing pen, tumor, stomach size and the duodenum. Here is the duodenum. So, incision. This is the preparatory vein. Start here. Gradually made deep. Pressure. Varieties of many other spreaders are described and surgeons prepare and adopt their own technique. Many of the spreaders are often cumbersome to use and they demand a deep incision to accommodate and the procedure is also time taking with their use. Twisting movement of the scalpel handle is often used by some surgeons for muscle spreading. Opening the shoulders of a carved hemostatic forceps is the most commonly used practice. This technique is improved by adding two semicircular blades to the shoulders of the forceps. The instrument is simple, safe and easy to use. It also ensures a complete myotomy.